Hi friends, I'm Azur Siddiqui, SQL Server DBA. Today we are going to discuss about how to migrate or transfer logins from uh, one SQL Server instance to other SQL Server instance. As a part of SQL Server migration, we need to migrate all the uh, logins and password from one uh, server to other server. Or you can also transfer a specific login and password to other uh, instance for that. Uh, we will use Microsoft Knowledge Base 918992 article normally used for SQL Server 2005 and above where Microsoft has provided excellent script to uh, create procedures uh, which generates existing server credentials. This script is externally provided and it is not available in build with Microsoft. SQL Server so you can uh, take um, that script from a Microsoft website I will show you an example how to migrate uh, SQL Server logins and password in a simple way for that you have to follow some uh, few steps I will show you I listed out you need to follow these steps first of all you have to create a procedure SP underscore hexadecimal and SP underscore help underscore rev login so Microsoft has given scripts to create both the procedures then you have to execute SP underscore help underscore a rev login procedure it will generate create login scripts those create login scripts you have to copy and paste to new server where you want to create logins once login is created you'll be able to log into your existing logins with your credentials so we'll see step by step procedure uh, first of all we'll see uh, how we can uh, download how we can uh, take uh, this uh, procedures okay for that you have to go to Microsoft website this one support.microsoft.com a knowledge base 918992 article how to transfer login and passwords between instance of SQL Server so you can uh, read it out this is uh, very simple okay I'll show you in, in so in short okay you have to copy this script and go to your first server and paste it so basically this procedure this script this query will create two procedures first one is SP underscore hexadecimal and second one create procedure SP underscore help underscore rave login and it will create both the procedure in a master database so I will execute it so execution is completed now you can go to master database I will just refresh it and programmability then stored procedures now you can see you have uh, sp underscore help underscore rev login and sp underscore hexadecimal both procedures are now available I'll just close it now we have created uh, procedures now you have to execute it okay so after execution you'll get all the logins windows logins and user logins okay and these and these logins are this one from your old server these are the logins okay so now create login script as generated you can select it copy it and go to your new server and on new server paste it okay now if you want to create uh, uh, all the logins so uh, I can consider that you have uh, restored all the database from old server to new uh, new server then uh, you have to create logins so you can create all the logins uh, it has uh, Windows logins and user logins I will show you one login okay yeah, I have which database in this I'll just cross check I have inventory database okay so default database is inventory for Lisa so create login uh, Lisa with password this is hash password hexadecimal okay 
an SID security identifier with default password default database inventory and other checks so you can execute you can select it and execute it I'll just take it out and this is create login a script I will create it so login is created I'll just cross check it go to security logins and you can find the login now you can try to connect it I'll give password for this login is Lisa password I have provided I'll try to connect it okay cannot open user default database login field login field for user Lisa no problem at all because uh, this is associated with uh, some default database which uh, it is not able to connect so I'll just map it manually no problem sometimes it happens so and uh, normally uh, once you have created login you can directly connect to uh, go to uh, your login window and connect it but if you're getting this error then uh, no problem at all open it open the login properties this is default databases inventory so go to user mapping click it okay and now this uh, user is mapped to uh, this database click OK now again I uh, will try to login I'll enter the password and now it is connected so you can see it has database inventory connected so it was a simple and easy process how to migrate or how to transfer login from one uh, SQL server instance to another SQL server instance if you like my video you can subscribe to my channel or you can uh, also go to my uh, website sqlserverlog.com and you can subscribe to newsletter and uh, join me on Facebook or if you have any query regarding this uh, article uh, transferring login so you can leave a reply thank you